All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back. Another episode of R.E.O.P. Artist. Oh, I'm tripping. This ain't even our artist series. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, man, it's a little bit of everything. I'm an artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm an engineer, you know what I'm saying? I just love music. So you could say that. You could say artist. You call it whatever you want. Anything that's attached to this, you know what I'm saying? We do it. You know what there I'm we saying? go. So, yeah, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? We on that. So, yeah, you, oh, yeah you, you dabble in the music. So, um... We've been hearing a lot about you, so we had Charles come through. He yeah, shouted you yeah, out, said some good yeah, things about guy, you. My guy, my guy, for real. Shout out Charles the Great, man. Hard working dude, you feel me? Hard working dude. I'm watching him grow too, you feel me? Right. He got he got some. Charles really lyrical. He talk about something. Mm. My guy, for real. J Way too, you feel me? Yeah, With the melodic flow, you feel me? Y'all seen both of them boys on here, you know what I'm saying? So. Right. Oh my guys, for real, we really yeah. liked in with the music thing. Yeah, both of them, both of them had good praise about you, so we had to tap in with you. That's yeah. love. That's love, and I appreciate y'all reaching out. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a pleasure to be here. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. No problem. You got an interesting story too, man. So matter of fact, go ahead and start by introducing yourself to the people. Okay, what's happening? What's happening? It's your boy Percy Mack. You know what I'm saying? Doing this music thing, mashing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was born and raised, man, in Georgia. Actually, you know what I'm saying? So, um, my parents from there, you know. Um, I had family out in Seattle, so I kind of really jumped off the porch out there, kind of got my game. So you can call me like a Southwest Coast nigga almost, you feel me? Because I got a little bit of both kind of mixed in and seen and done a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's all part of the journey. It's all documented, you know what I'm saying? It's in, it's in the music. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so... um. My water at it, boom. So where you want to start? You want to start with the music or you start want to start with the pimp shit? So apparently you used to be a pimp, man. So let's go ahead and get into how you even got into that game. Well, I don't necessarily even want to call it pimping, you feel me? I want to All put right. like a management spin on it. Management, you know okay. Because it's not just a pimp that will put it in a single lane. Okay. Manager, financial advisor, you feel me? I'm a preacher, you know what I'm saying? I'm somebody, whoa, whoa, I'm somebody whoa. to talk to when you <laughs> down back. Now for real, like, you know what I'm saying? When hey, you say preacher, yeah. <laughs> elaborate. I'm gonna give you this game, you know what I mean? <laughs> For real, I'm gonna I'm give you this game and, wa and watch you progress off of it, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean as far as preaching, you know? Because gotcha. it's established, you know, this shit's already been done. It's been something that's been being done for years and years and years, you know what I'm saying? This is another player in the game. I'm not reinventing the wheel, you know what I'm saying? All right. But Pimpus is the beginning of the time, you know what I'm saying? And that's why my spin is different because it's 2022, you feel me? I ain't really no such thing as no real blades, especially on, in, a south city like this you feel me the movement's a little different you know everything on internet now it's on camera you know right. we trying to build brands out of these ladies you know we ain't taking advantage of nobody doing no weird shit, nothing like that let me turn you into an artist let me turn you into a model you feel me let me take you out the strip club let me take you out the fucked up situations if you listen to this game my guy that's the shit i'm talking about when i say preaching you feel me like so you know i don't want to get it misca screws on like a biblical sense because i know we in the south it's hella religious and i don't want to <laughs> get that disrespected yeah but I am preaching, you feel me? And people who really know what's going on will be like, yeah, you popping that shit, you feel me? Yeah, right. you know, preach it, you know? Right, right. So that, that's what it is, you know? We just trying to put a 2022 spin on all this, you know what I'm saying? Everything advancing, everything about cameras and screens, you know what I'm saying? That's it. So that that's that's kind of what it is, but to, to kind of answer your question, getting started in that, you feel me? I kind of want to say that shit is not on me, it's in me, you feel me? Like. My, my grandfather was a, a manager, and he was a, a manager in the sense of, you know, traditional pimp shit. Like, yeah, bitch, run down with my money. Yeah, dumb. Jumping out the Cadillac colorful suits and shit, you know? And my pops kind of took the player route with it. You feel me? What's happening, baby? You know, maybe we can do this, do that, you know? So my shit is like a combination of both, bro, because, you know, I do got to give the gab. I know I know how to talk, you feel me? Like, and I'm not an ugly-ass dude, and I know how to get out of a fucked-up situation. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I've climbed out of many of them. You know what I'm saying? And people who believe in me, I got my guys right here, you feel me? They'll attest to that, tell you the same thing, you feel me? Like, so that that's really what it's on, you know what I'm saying? Because I never want to disrespect the game and come in here and try to, you know, pop that pimping shit in and give the wrong impression about myself, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that's really what it is, you know? For yeah, sure. Man. Great question, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all letting me jump off in that, you feel me? Oh, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had to start somewhere. So yeah. let me ask you a question. So like, what's some misconception people got with the, you call it management? So mm -hmm. That it's all disrespectful. It's about, hey bitch, where you at? Give me all your money, I'm gonna beat yeah. the shit out to you, you feel me? That's why a lot of people are scared, you know? And you know, <clears throat> hey, 
however you want to look at it. I tell females that a lot, a lot of the same thing all the time. Like, you're going to do it anyway. When I come up, when I get about this bad situation, this nigga ain't left you with nothing but a wet ass, you feel me? It took off on you, you feel me? Some real shit. Yeah, let's capitalize, you feel me? We live in this capitalist world where everything about paper. What's the bottom line? What's the budget? That should be your question to, you know what I'm saying? Every answer, everything somebody asks you, what's the budget? You feel me, what we on? So that's the biggest misconception is this, you know, aggressive, sex trafficking ass shit, kidnapping motherfuckers, running off with them. Nah, it's by choice, never for us. You yeah. feel me? So yeah. But you gotta admit, there is some dudes that just be on that shit. They, of course, they ain't every all. Day. Every manager ain't gonna be a good manager. Every day, shit. Every there's day. niggas that ain't pimps that be this. Come on, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You hear about this shit every day. Be motherfuckers up, kidnapping, forcing them into shit. You know what I mean? We trying to get you out of some shit through this, not into some shit through this. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the exit strategy. That's all we talk about. That's why I preach like being an artist, being a model, you feel me? Being an assistant to me, working on my team, maybe getting a job at the studio, whatever you can do to better your situation, you feel me? Because mm. listen, you can get a lot out of a person by doing this much, you feel me? You ain't really got to give no ass away and just be throwing it and saying that's what you do, you know? Just listen to the shit I got to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Play it like that and see how it works. Come back and let me know type shit, you know? I feel you. So, um... Let me be the devil's advocate real quick. So I don't, I don't believe this, but let's say somebody heard you and you said you was doing the whole, you said the whole preacher thing. Mm -hmm. What if somebody said that would be like a form of manipulation? Mm. That's a that's a great question, you know. But manipulation, I feel like words like that kind of go in the category of like pimp, bitch, shit like that. It's all about the context of how you using shit, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can be manipulated into doing the right thing when you was on the path of destruction, you know what I'm saying? And that if you want to spin it into that, that's what kind of like going to church is, letting you know right from wrong, you know what I mean? In a sense, you being manipulated into knowing what's right, you feel me? Mm. Yeah, so what's the difference, you know? It's all about context and how you use the word. Like, you can say, yeah, the nigga manipulated the bitch, you know what I'm saying, to go out here, do this and that, and bring all the money to him, you feel me? Or you can say like, Manipulated her to get about that strip club, help her get an LLC, you feel me? Stay focused as an artist and progress like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about how you spin it, you know? So yeah, they can say what they want to say, but I'm gonna tell you why not, you feel me? I'm gonna tell you why that ain't what you think it is. Yeah, you know? we had, yeah, we had one of our, um, one of our guests, his name is uh, Natalak. He is he in the <laughs> um, management too, mm -hmm. quote unquote. And he was saying he got like a he got a bunch of women that live with him and whatnot. But he said the difference between him and like other dudes that do management is every woman that he has with him got their own business. Yeah, yeah. They got part time jobs. They got like several streams of income and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, you gotta have many irons in the fire with anything, you know? Just one of nothing ain't enough, especially at this day and age, gas, five dollars a gallon. Yeah, yeah Florida, come on. You need eight hustles. So yeah, shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't get a chance to check him out, but I, I definitely know what you're talking about and I, I wanna see what's to him, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Everybody got some game. Yeah, everybody everybody got their own route while they go about it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, like I don't knock nothing or how nobody operate they, you know, situation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you this, man. Have you ever seen the show The Deuce on HBO? Nah, nah, I ain't seen that. Put me on game. So it's a it's a show about how porn got started, actually, but they you they they tell it from the perspective of pimps and prostitutes. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, it's yeah. Re it's really a, it's a really good show. Uh, Method Man and uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal were in it. Yeah, um, those are two of the notable actors. Um, but yeah, if you got the time, check it out. I'm I would definitely like check to get that your, out. You feel me? <laughs> get that's, your opinion that's always how I get shows too, bro. Like somebody got to put me up on game. Like, bro, you got to check this show. And I come back and be like, oh yeah, I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So definitely the dudes. Shout yeah, out. it's a good one, man. Okay. It's a good one. And yeah. it's all about pimping. Like I say, they 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 tell the story of how process I mean, uh the porn industry got started, mm -hmm. but uh you see many facets of the pimping. They yeah, got yeah, Maggie yeah. Gyllenhaal leads the the show as the main character. Yeah, yeah. And she is uh without a pimp. You know, she she runs for herself. Uh renegade, but, renegade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
she got other girls on the street that mm -hmm. you know all got pimps and shit. so mm -hmm. i mean i i enjoyed it just because you do get to see a different percep perspective of things you know what i mean mm -hmm. uh the way that they tell it they got the officers view they got a journalist and such so it's right. a really good show man check right. it out and, and, and check this out that just that just reminded me of something too like a lot of females in the life thinking they can do this shit by themselves. you know what i mean but hey this game is dangerous and you need a manager and some representation and this shit. you know what i'm saying who gonna run up in there when he when he getting down on you or he pulled out a gun or he trying to get the money back or whatever you know what i'm saying you see a lot of them situations too you know and that 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 be what's going on like so we definitely taking it serious it ain't no <clears> game you feel me we trying to save lives and you know uplift people you feel me through this you know what I'm saying? Through through any darkness, you feel me? It's a path through the light, you feel me? Like you gotta go through some shit to get to some shit. You know what I'm saying? So like I just I just wanna like stomp down on that and double back because that really, you know, just put me up on game when you said so I didn't have no representation and she was kinda running around by herself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So no no. Bro, I gotta check that. I never even heard of that show. Yeah, that's just on fire. I'm on that too. I'm you on give that. me a lot yeah. of shit about the Come shows I watch, but yeah, uh, but you, you might have hit with that. Boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey man, what they yeah. should have brought a broke clock. You know what I'm saying? Two <laughs> times a day, shit, you got one more. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> on me. They got on miss with shows. All right. <laughs> All right, person. You got any like any stories you want to tell about the about the game or anything? Like any like memorable stories? I don't even want to touch too much on that, like you know what I'm saying, because like, it's uh -huh. you know I I know and I and I know that shit's interesting too, but like it, it's a whole lot to me, and like I really want to like represent like the brand of the the music and our, okay. our studio and what we trying to do with that, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Because good transition, yeah, you feel that. me? So like, shout out, but it's check my albums, man. I got two albums out, the program Pink Alley, and everything's there, and then ain't no cap. My family right here, they'll tell you. I was there, or he ain't lying. That sound like him for Joe for Joe. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like so, yeah. You know, let me promote the album, Pink Alley, and the program. You feel me? I got two of them things. You know, straight up. So All yeah, right. man. So let's talk about the studio. So let's go, like name of the studio, everything. Yeah, the studio vision, man. We on the west side off of Lenox Ave. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm actually like a partner in it. You know, Brent Flores is the actual owner. Um, it's like one of my best friends, real solid dude. You know, he's hella talented with the music. And I was gonna say, I've heard that name yeah, before, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, and you know, not even as much as you should, you know, like, cause he ain't even that type of guy, you know, he really just low key and um, he behind a lot of shit here in the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, respectfully, I wanna say he kind of gave, you know, Jacksonville they sound, you know what I mean? Like the, the current sound and shit that's going on, like you can hear it. I can hear a song, like, regardless if I recorded it or not or knew who recorded I could tell, yeah, that's from our shit. That's that's our chain right there, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that that's the thing I want to shout him out, but he's the first person to give me a chance. I actually started there as a client, like, just going, and he always, like, peep my interest in actual seeing what's going on. Damn, what that dude, what's EQ, compression, all that, you know what I'm saying? And he don't mind give a game. You know what I mean? So just over time of making the first album, which was the program, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like soaked it up, which I already had experience in um, recording this shit too. My man Sam right there, we had our own studio from the jump. So we was already doing our thing, but just like merging with Brent and doing that was took it to another level. You know what I'm saying? So um, over time, like I just asked him like, yo bro, let me work here. You feel me? Like I was still in Seattle at the time, kind of coming back and forth, like maybe doing a month out there, coming out here for a couple weeks, going back type vibe, you feel me? Cause I was like immersed in the vibe and the, the music, you know right. what I'm saying? So like, it's like, bro, let me work here. Like I legit move here and do this shit full time. If you let me work here. He kind of, you know, man ain't really say shit. Like he ain't hear me, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I said, all right, you know what I'm saying? I hit him a few more times with it. Finally, he like, yeah. Cause Brent the type of person, you know, gotta let me know you really mean that shit and you ain't just saying that shit in the minute in the moment you feel me right and right. i be hella turned like oh yeah this song fire let me work here i want to do this shit every day <laughs> you could be in the moment like that sometimes so i had to keep letting them know you know what i'm saying and finally he let me get in there you know what i'm saying and i like to say we turned up straight from the beginning you know what i'm saying but never really missed a beat you know what i mean and i love like the art of like working with other artists man because like i really believe in myself i know i can do this shit but I want you to see that you can do this, you feel me? So if you're willing to like, and that's where all the pimp shit go hand in hand, you feel me? That's the story I'll tell, you feel me? Because everything's interchangeable, you feel me? If I like, 
everything in life is pimping. You feel me? It's, it it's depends on what side of the spectrum you on. You feel me? Because everything go together. It's about like listening. You feel me? And letting me talk to you and having an open mind and not like being a jerk. If you're willing to listen, I promise you come rock with us. We give you the best song you ever made. You feel me? And that's not just me. That's Sam. That's Brent. That's the whole staff over there. You feel me? Like I'm just like the one who like do music out of this shit. You know what I'm saying as well. You know what I'm saying? Sam, a great artist, one of the best rappers ever. You feel me? So we actual artists with this. So that gives an extra passion about it. We ain't just engineers that's looking at the clock like, oh shit, I got to get home. Da, 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 da. We locked in like you. Be so many times, you feel me? The management will hit us like, yo, you got to get them out of here. You feel me? They pay for two hours. It's been two hours, 45, 50 minutes, whatever. You feel me? Because yeah. we, we trying to go above and beyond. You feel me? And like, I want you to see the best that you can be, the best version. You feel me? And right. Everything just from, come from listening, taking your time. You feel me? So that's, that's really what we want to do here. You feel me? We like want to let people know. We open, we rock in, we open minded. You know what I mean? If you got a vision for this shit, you know what I mean? All you need is about this much money, you feel me? If your ambition is like this and we'll turn you up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause it ain't about the money with us. You know what I'm saying? Like to be honest with you, I got six hustles. The studio don't pay my bills, you know? That's my passion. I'm always going there after or before some shit. You know what I mean? So it don't stop moving, you know what I'm saying? We got other things going on, but this is the real passion, you know? And um, we just, we just want to make this all come together, you know what I mean? Like, we, we 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 looking for artists, you know? We looking for people to work with that's, you know, willing to invest in themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's, that's like the biggest thing. So let me ask you this, man. Um, from the artist standpoint, you know, of course, this is one of the, the standard questions. How long have you been rapping? I've been rapping for years, man, you feel me? Like, I know little boy, you feel me? I'm in my 30s, you know what I'm saying? So shit, psh, Master P, no limit, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, Max Dre, Too Short, E-40, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, those are like my examples of like people coming up on that independent shit, doing it themselves, you know? Right. So that's always been our vision, like, bro, them folks charging 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars an hour, why don't we just get our own shit, you know what I mean? Why don't we make our own beats? Why don't we sing our own hooks? I can't really sing, but I used to be in the choir back in the day. Uh, I might get do something, put some auto tune on it. So like, right. that that's one thing I really got from my pops too. Don't pay nobody for no shit that you could do yourself. You know what I'm saying? He was always preaching that shit. Straight so up. like, that that's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's major. You know what I'm saying? So um, I've been on that from my early age, man. I think I dropped my first single at like 13, like did it the real way, got the cover art, you know what I'm saying? At the time it was CDs and shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Passing out the CDs, you know what I'm saying? It was a little R&B bop, you know? So I've been on that kind of making songs directed about the ladies or to the ladies or whatever. My, you know, my, my progression been like steady on the same Great shit. It just evolved growing up. He older. He know more now. You feel me? Like, right. but I am what I am, who I am. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just musical, man. Like, used to be beating on the tables in school, freestyling and shit. Like, you know, I can't even remember, like, the first time, like, I really, like, oh, I want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? But, like, um, mm, that shit's always been in me. I've always been, like, changing the words to songs, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. instead of what the real word is, trying to make my own bop, so it's in me, man. It's in me, for real. And uh, how long have you been engineering now? Engineering, like, in this aspect, like a year and a half, you know, but just having my own studio, psh, 10 years, you know what I mean? But it's a difference, and because it's a different, um, the expectation, it's mm -hmm. different when you working in this type of environment. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, y'all know y'all said it's some real street niggas here. Don't have them niggas shit mixed right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. niggas, niggas, niggas be hot about they shit. So it's it, it's pressure, but we build a lot of relationships with people and people rock with us on a deeper than rap level. And that's what it's all about. Like connecting, you feel me? Like I'm all about community. You see, I got my team with me, you know what I'm saying? And everywhere I move around, we gonna be deep like that. You know what I'm saying? You gonna too much catch me by myself, you know? Cause right. it be all about unity. Everybody over there got something to do with music. Everybody can tell you about a single that's coming out. You know what I'm saying? A move they working on, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what we all about, man. You know what I'm saying? And <coughs> let's make it work. Let's make it work. 
We're over there choking <laughs> on that gas and shit. Where the gas at, man? I want to smoke something. I'm over here jealous for real. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to ask, right? You said. <laughs> Fuck it with my God. Sam <laughs> yeah, West in the building. Yeah. All right, so let me ask you a question. Um, so let's say like you got an up and coming artist that's like watching this right now. What pointers would you give them if they haven't like recorded before in like a professional studios? Yeah. Like what pointers would you give them? Um, if you're talking about working with us, man, just come open minded. You feel me? <laughs> Get to at least three hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We'll figure something out. Money wise, you know what I'm saying? Everything's right. negotiable in life. We'll, we'll figure the money out, but just come open minded if you ain't never recorded. Cause it's always gonna sound different than what you expected. Like, damn, that's what my voice sound like. Like I'll probably watch this when y'all drop this, like, oh shit, what? Yeah. So I sound, you know what I mean? But y'all know how it goes. So it ain't never gonna be hundred percent what you expect. So be open minded, man. Be ready to work. Don't come with 40 niggas. You the only rapper, right? And you got the nigga that don't rap trying to tell you how to kick your shit. You know, right. what we see that a lot. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you a first time rapper, don't come 40 D because your confidence might get blown by your homeboys. They gonna, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that shit hit from your man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. shit hit from your man. You know, like damn, bro, I just spent hundred dollars on this. Chill out. You know what I'm saying? Up. Everything about money, man. You know. So yeah, that's the number one thing I will tell them. You know. I would say limit your damn distractions. I like that. Don't come 40 deep. You yeah, feel me? Straight hey, up. you said. Straight up. You know, bring you one niggas righteous be person. in and out of the studio, niggas, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, see, you see a lot of like that. Like they forget you, you're recording, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Shit yeah. can be heard. And, yeah, a lot yeah. of that phone ringing. You don't know yeah. how many the, the raw songs got to just random ass iPhone ringing it. Yeah. You know up. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, and we ain't people was there the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah man. Let me tell distractions. I like that. That's a key for life and like just in general. You know what I'm saying? And as well as being open minded. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and one thing that's gonna happen is things gonna change. It ain't always gonna be like it was yesterday. Or nah, you said like something powerful, man. You say uh, you, it, it, it'll never sound like what you envision, and that's that's absolutely correct, hey, man. Come on, come on. And you come adjust on. to that. That's come what on. people find their sound. They yeah. adjust to yeah. you know, not to say limitations, but you know what their their uh range is when it comes to recording so facts, yeah facts and i seen like both ends of the spectrum too like uh, nah, 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 nah. damn dang nigga you feel me uh, uh, oh, one shit, of the greatest me? examples Ooh. i would think of is jay-z you mm -hmm. know him starting out and having that faster flow or even you know wanting to rap like nas to where it was more conversational right and then right. when he realized like okay this is the way that I need to like this is how I make it my own you 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 heard the transition after reasonable doubt to where his flow pattern really like got polished he started to slow things down and he was really talking to niggas right. you know what I mean so right. um like I say people definitely adjust to shit even with podcasting you know I told Amp all the time when we used to record like I call this nigga after that show and be like yo cut this shit mm -hmm. hey let's mm -hmm. not even release this episode come on let's like, hold this one down bro yeah, yeah 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 you see what we did wrong but hey let it fly man let it fly yeah, just trust the you process know, yeah you feel me because the real one's gonna respect the the grind and how y'all change like oh Straight shit up. they get money now look at that they got some different paint schemes on Straight the wall up. you feel yeah. me new equipment you know people appreciate the go the uh growth you know what i'm saying yep all yeah. the podcasts i love i kind of like Watch them shits come up from like grassroots, you feel me? I, I love stuff like this, you feel me? Like the major ones are cool too, but I love the like grinding process, you feel me? Like, you know? So yeah, man, I really appreciate what y'all doing, man. Y'all y'all putting a purpose man on the city for the city, you know what I'm saying? And that's the way to do it, you know? So like one of the things that stood out in uh when we had interviewed Charles was mm -hmm. He said he loved working with you because like anytime that he's like doing something half ass, yeah, you straighten them up. Straight up. So yeah. like, do you do that for everybody or do you just like are you like hands on with everybody's music? Like you was with Charles and J Waves? Yeah, to a certain extent, but everybody gotta have a custom approach, you feel me? Um Charles has like built up a trust for me and allowed me to do that without knowing that I'm not questioning your skills or nothing. Right. But I know you could do better. Right. I've heard better, you feel me? And I see where you was trying to go with that. But what if you do this? Yeah. And that's all a part of being open-minded. That's what I love about Charles, you feel me? You done let me change the line, change the bar, sing that instead of saying it like this, you feel me? Waves the same way, but 
you know? A lot of people don't want that. A lot of yeah. people don't want that, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So every everybody got to have a custom approach, but I, I will try to do everything I can to give you the best possible song, you feel me? So bad takes is kind of like a, a no-go, you feel me? Like if the mic catch it wrong or, you know, you kick the mic stand or something while yeah, you were doing yeah. it, yeah, bro, we got to redo that. Yeah, sure. You know, yeah. but it, to be honest with you, like, I want to say like a good 85% no, no cap, like they, they'll be open-minded and let me do something. Cause I think it's a thing about like, yeah, bro doing music, he just dropped the album, like he on his shit, he ain't gonna tell me no fluke shit. You know right. what I mean? And they feel like a lot of that shit is cool or a good idea, you know? So that's a great like collaboration when that come together, you know? I love to hear it. I love when people let me name the song and they drop the album or project and it's just the way I named it, just the way I spelled it. I'm like, oh shit, he ran with that. All right, that's dope, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, it's a lot of ways to spread your, you know, image and likeness around, you feel me, without hogging all the limelight, you know? Just being a part of something is a big deal. It's like community, you know? For sure. And that, that's what we selling. We ain't just selling studio time, you feel me? Because, shit, there's probably 10 other studios to go to if you just want some studio time. But yeah, you know. Yeah, I think you kind of answered this question I'm about to ask, um, but I'm gonna word it a different way. So, have you ever like been recording with somebody and they just been like, "Hey, nigga, fuck out of here!" Like, this how I'm gonna do. This how I'm gonna do it. Like, I don't care what you gotta say. This how I'm gonna do my song. Never, never. never. I ain't never had one of them, you know. Because <laughs> usually, you know, and this go along with the or man. Like, if I believe in something, I can make you believe in it. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so and. Not even on no negative shit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, you could turn it up another level if you just kick it like this instead of that. So okay. I never really had an issue. Maybe if you was a fuck nigga and you was in there saying some shit like, man, fuck out of here, you know? Yeah. Fuck niggas get that type of energy, you know? But nah, ain't nobody never talked to me like that, yeah, you yeah. know? <laughs> nah, hell no. Yeah, I feel you like, nigga, I ain't the one to try, so yeah, they know how to try I mean, it. I don't want to even get talked <laughs> like that, but no, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> For real, to be honest, no. Hell no, nah. we here to make a good song, man. Let's do that, you know? Straight up. Straight up. All right, so let's get into one of your videos, man. So I follow this song a lot, uh, No Classic. No Classic, yeah. Featuring uh, Chris Vegas. So let's get into this. For so. Shot by Greg Bell, the GOAT. That's my cameraman. Terry Red Beam. Coming out that beach with some snow. This is um Bo no Bean and Coffee over in Riverside too. Hey. Shout out to them. Whole staff that is told me the manager actually no called. Hey. They let you shoot overnight, the overnight or this way? Oh, I was overnight. They had closed hey. it, you know. Yeah, this song cool as hell, man. Like, the hook is actually like a Starbucks order. You feel me? Sugar free coffee. Ain't shit sweet around here. You feel me? So, yeah, we don't fuck with you. I'm gonna get the blend. I'm gonna get the blend. I'm gonna get the I gotta tap in with Chris Vegas too, man. I don't know if y'all know her, but she's super dope. Super talented, you feel me? And like, she's charismatic, you feel me? She got a dope personality. She's raw. Talking about the bunny? Nah, Vegas, the uh, pizza artist, she actually about to have a verse on it. You know? Yeah, yeah. I need some action too. We can get her on here too. You know what I'm saying? But that's the whole. That's the, you know, we can talk about some other shit. You know? Yeah, but yeah. Is that her? That's her right there. Yeah. That's right. With a K. I ain't heard this in a long time. This been a lot. I'm gonna try with my team scale player. He got drafted. That's the rawest lie ever.
free vanilla Tola, baby, give me studio, no classy. Yeah, we shot this little Bitch was corporate date, so she dressed in hella classy. Ay. Sugar free vanilla Tola, baby, give me no classy. Right on, person. The bitch know I have a chicken, she ain't even had to ask me. Yeah, man, like I said, you, you. On your shit, bro. Like, like, see your shit. Like, Chris on the fuck you. You get it on your shit, man. I can tell, like, you know, you take that shit serious. Wait, no, you didn't do it on that. That shit, your delivery, and you in the shit, yo. Right. The way you pick it, you see that every day. I think it's, you know what I'm saying? It's on point, man. Like, you can tell, like, you're not going and then just trying to rush some shit out. Like, you're really trying to. Like, take that shit to a whole nother level, and you really perfecting that shit. I'm really shit. over here watching this shit like i never seen it before. Like, oh, this is a dope video. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. Shout out Greg Bell, man. Oh, so hey, I got to salute you, because mm -hmm. I got to salute you, because every time we play this, we want the artists like, give us a breakdown of the video yeah. you did they just, just be, that they like, just be looking the shit I'm oh like, i had to play by play on it huh yeah, like yeah, boom yeah. boom boom like, break down <laughs> yeah, the video yeah, like, yeah. niggas be like well <laughs> you know we was outside you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we just like let's shoot a video yeah we had to, hey we man we take guns. notes man this how you yeah, do this yeah. shit you know from now on you know we're gonna build the blueprint right here that's why i play this shit for breakdown i love that though that was dope you know what i'm saying because i ain't watched it in a while so it's really like uh it was fresh on me but yeah the video was hard man um i was a bop that song streamed pretty decent you know what i'm saying that shit did something we'll say this man i watched all your videos man you got a lot of snow in your videos man. yeah man you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know uh, i think that's a requirement in pimping not necessarily brother you know what i'm saying but it's just you know, know it, it, it's just it's just hey. personality you feel me you got to have you a stable of bunnies you got you got to have some on your stable, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Got to have some, but you can get it other ways yeah, now, yeah, you feel for sure, me? For hey, sure. the black girl with it too, you for feel sure. me? She trying to get it. You, know you don't saying? need to exploit our queen. Yeah, you, you already know. Gonna, you already know. Gonna advocate for that, but you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? <laughs> the buddies, you know, hey, go on But yeah, you necessary, <laughs> necessary, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You ain't Straight no real up. pimp unless you Straight. got a bunny. Oh, the major way. Like yeah. you say, some snow. Say some snow. Hey, Gotta say it like that. Some Dr. Snap. Umar, forgive us, bro. I tell you, <laughs> nah, Dr. Umar would applaud us. Hey, come on, you feel me? Why we want to exploit our beautiful black queens? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm let's see with it. So I, yeah, so I was listening to you. <laughs> I was listening to your music, man. So you got a song with uh, Larry June. I fought with Larry June heavy. How did yeah, that song come? Shout about? out, shout out, Larry June. Like I actually knew June before the rap. You feel me? Like oh, wow. June really on that shit too. You know what I'm saying? So like we met up in Vegas on some uh, shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Did the song. We actually got another one coming out. It's called Percy June. But that was a moment. And it's like incredible to watch bro grow like that. Like bro, like a real star. Like he in London right now. You, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And he's like legit rubbing shoulders. Like, hey June, roll this up on some regular shit. You yeah. know? So that's all I say is like keep grinding. Cause we the same age. You feel me? Yeah. And like shit don't never stop. You know what I'm saying? You always got a, a demographic to talk to because it's somebody that's going through some shit that you going through, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, don't never stop. Don't never stop. Yeah, one of the reasons why I fought with Larry June Heavy because like he make the music, like it's very slowed down and it just like inspire you to get some money. It's like money. get up on your shit. Get some money, what's the budget? Improve your life. What's the budget? We ain't trying to hurt nobody. We ain't trying to take from nobody. We just trying yeah. to take care of our people. And that's how ironic, up. that's ironic that you said you met him like before the rap shit. Mm -hmm. You met him on the, the on, other yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Because I listen to his music. He definitely talk about that shit a lot. Nah, he own it. He own it. You feel yeah. me? And it's all it's all about how you mix and match it. You know what I'm saying? Because we can blend it. That that's like one of my goals is to explain the shit in a way that can be played on radio. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So that's kind of the approach I try to have with the music. You know what I'm saying? Because real niggas gonna know. You know what I'm saying? And everybody else gonna be curious. Like what he talking about? You know what I'm saying? What he talking about? So um, what music you working on right now? Um, I'm working on a project right now. Um, me and artist Jay Lee got a project coming out. It's called The Aberrants. It's dope. It's short, straight to the point, like eight songs. You know, um, Sam's working. We continuously in the lab every night. So be honest with you, we working on like 10 albums. I just downloaded this app called Noda where you can like, you know, put your music in order and like play it and shit like that. And look like I got like eight projects, you feel me? 
I'm like, damn, so, you know, we just getting the game plan together as far as dropping everything, you know. We're in the process of putting together a video right now, another one with Greg. Shout out, Greg. Me and Jay going to do that to a record we got called Nomad. So we just gearing up for the summer, man, trying to get trying to get it matching, you feel me, and still serving the clients at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So we got time for all that shit, you know. So um, now you – why you just said that real quick? So like, when you be making your personal music and whatnot, mm -hmm. and then do you feel like sometimes the engineering get in the way? When I make my personal music, I am the engineer. You know, yeah. like at this point, I, I I ain't got the patience. I couldn't let nobody because like yeah. I got a I got a real like unique way of working and just doing shit on the fly. An idea might come to me. I might lay down some blah, 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 shit. Don't really make sense, but I get it. So I can just hold that down and think about what I want to put there. Come back. You know what I mean? At this point. I'd rather record it myself. And I kind of like preach that to everybody. Like, bro, record yourself. I'll mix that shit, get the sound right. But you need to be in here, like, stopping, starting where you need to go. You feel me? Because I ain't going to catch it. I might be the reason you keep missing it and be off half a measure or whatever it be. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, Charles, like, he'll sit down in the chair, record himself. You know what I mean? Because he get it. And it's not like I'm trying to run off on you or make you do your work or something. I'm going to stand right here over your shoulder like, yeah, bro, this is how you want to do it, you know? Because yeah, yeah. some game come with this too, you know what I mean? You're not just buying studio time. You in there with somebody who do music as well. Right. I want to show you this shit, you know what I mean? Because I'm not taking away from me because you're still going to find a way to shop with me, spend money. Right. But let me teach you how to drive your car, you feel me? Because nobody know how you want to sound but you. So once you know what's going on and what stuff is doing, then you can tell me, explain this shit in a more technical way. And I know more what you're talking about, you know? So yeah, like I kind of push that on everybody. So yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't record it. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. I was watching a video yesterday. It was Future. He was recording his, his last album he dropped. He, yeah, literally, yeah. he literally was at the board yeah. with a yeah. mic that looked just like this on a stand, just Listen. sitting at the board, just Listen. recording. I love to Playing hear with that. The knobs and shit. You gotta send me that video, cause me and oh, Sam, I got you, I got you. me and Sam be going back and forth like, damn dog, I don't think Future record itself. I hope he do. You feel me? But he like, yeah, nah, that nigga record itself. You feel me? Like, cause it's only that's the only way you could cap capture them type of sounds, and you know what I mean. You gotta you gotta be in that moment by yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, really but, able to trust it. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? you know exactly what's going on. You feel me? Up, Cause you would get blowed by telling somebody to stop and they don't stop the minute you say it, you know what I mean? Like, damn, nigga, come on, you know what I mean? That'd be what people get frustrated at, you know? People get frustrated when they engineer texting on the phone, got a pod in, watching the fucking game low key, some shit like that, you know? I want you to, I want you to know I'm locked in, you feel me? Right. Unless that kind of situation is invited and you know it's, it's, we just vibing, trying to build one, you know what I mean? But you in here for two hours and you we locked in and you got my time for two hours. I'm locked in. You know what I mean? Here you go, right here. Fuse. Y'all. Yeah, he just heard the beat like one time. Come on. Felt the beat and just sat at the at the soundboard and just like recorded. Come on, and that's that bop on that album too. That's how yeah. it was put together. I love to see songs get put together like that. I fuck with that song. Yeah, I was impressed by that because I I don't be in the studio at all. So like, I just think niggas just be in the booth and they just got yeah. engineers. So like, stuff like that just I don't know, man. I I feel like the booth is really a thing of the past because like I feel like it's a certain type of relationship you and the engineer got to have if you is working with an engineer. You know what I'm saying? You need to be able right there, like our distance. You know. Cause you know you um you you know you soundproof your room right, man. You can do all that shit right there, right man. The you know y'all y'all know what it is, man. Yeah, y'all know what it is. It's twenty twenty two, about to be twenty three, man. You can do anything, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, <laughs> record yourself, get that shit to a good engineer to mix it. You feel me? You know, learn how to mix it yourself. But you can do it. You know what I'm saying? All this shit, picking up a camera, you know, all that. Yeah, everything self taught. Um, mm -hmm. mixing and mastering, like that's the most important part, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure, you, you know, the the mix in particular, you know, the That's mix the gonna mix tell everything, everything yeah, you yeah. know? You know, any extra noise, shit that don't belong there, it's off key, you know what I mean? Like, all that matters, man, you know what I mean? Master is like, eh, depends on, you know, what you're trying to do with this song and, you know, but a good mix is suffice for getting you a YouTube video, shooting that shit, bopping, dropping it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, Joe, you had any more questions for person? Um, so 
Let me ask you this, man. What's up? <laughs> shit, about, the, it, it, the question about to be crazy because you started laughing. Hey, like, just yeah, for, I'm waiting on this just shit. For the li- <laughs> just last for the one. Listeners, yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Get to tell the people, you know, how, how you keep such a positive mindset. I mean, you could tell you got great energy, you know what I mean? High energy. Um, I don't know, man. Like, you balance a lot, like you say. You got how many hustles again? Yeah, six of the motherfuckers. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like straight so. up, like and they growing. You know, the yeah. tasks are growing. But I've been through a lot, man. Like I've been at rock bottom, and it's like you <laughs> can't get no worse than that. So the only way to go is up. Keep a smile on your face, man. It'll be all right. You know, we all going through some shit. Like I said earlier, gas is five dollars a gallon. That That's shit right. affecting everybody, hitting everybody. You know what I'm saying? But just know, better days come. You know what I'm saying? And it can't be sunshine without the rain in the dark days. You know what I'm saying? Shit gonna get greater later, you know? And like, I'm I'm really on that. You know what I'm saying? If I can't like produce this type of energy, or if, if it's something that I, I can't battle, I ain't coming out. Cause I'm real big about the type of energy you spread. That shit is contagious, you know what I mean? I come in with a good energy, y'all gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna be like, damn, that nigga was cool, man, you feel yeah, me? And that shit gonna give y'all the type of energy. If I was a jerk, you know what I mean? That shit gonna affect how you move for the rest of the night. Yeah. It is lame, man, he came, I had to get on his ass, da 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 you feel me? Like, instead of, yeah, he was cool, you know what I mean? Right. So like, the energy we put out is a big deal, man. Cause hey, and especially on some shit like this, the first impression is, is, is the most important one, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I wanna set the tone and I'm here representing and organization and the structure as well. You know, I'm not just here as Percy Mack, you know what I'm saying? The person, like, it's it's a whole, you know, organization behind this. So, you know, we gotta we gotta represent, you know what I'm saying? For real. I respect that a lot. For man. real. So Percy, you got anything, we about to wrap this up. You got anything you wanna share or like anything you trying to promote or anything? Hey man, Love like I up. said, Social man. Social media is all that stuff. Yes, yeah, Instagram at Percy the Mac, you feel me? Twitter, Percy the Mac, everything Percy the Mac that you can look on, you know what I'm saying? Everything is saying, that's all mine, you know what I'm saying? No gimmicks out here. But um, I appreciate y'all for having me, it's been a pleasure, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, everything was right on time, y'all did exactly what y'all said y'all was gonna do, stand up niggas. Shout out to my guy, Sam West in the building, artist, Miss Coco in the back, what's up, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit real out here, you trying to do it. Keep grinding, keep waking up, you know what I'm saying? Keep sure. keep staying positive. That's the message. No. Right. Salute Yo. to you, Percy, man. Appreciate you pulling through, y'all. man. You feel me? Let's get it. Joe, you got anything you need to plug for? You know what I mean? Man, plug with the rug. I let your boy for them customs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, with all that said, we out. Let's do it. <laughs>